subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. We have seen how the position of ions in the electrochemical series and concentration of ions affect the selection of ions to be discharged at the electrodes in the electrolysis of copper two sulfates in the previous lesson. In both situations, electrolysis of dilute and concentrated electrolyte, carbon rod is used as the electrode. But what if metal is used instead? Will it affect the selection of ions to be discharged? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain using examples the electrode factor affecting electrolysis of an aqueous solution. Write half equations for the discharge of ions at the anode and the cathode. Carbon versus copper. Look at this animation. This is electrolysis of copper to sulfate solution. Pay attention to the electrodes. If the electrolytes and the concentration of the solutions are kept the same, should the observation be the same in both cases? What do you think? But look, it is not as expected. Why? The electrolysis products at the anode are not the same and look at the color of copper 2 sulfate solution. They are not the same either. Why? You must keep in mind that in both situations, the concentration of copper 2 sulfate solution is kept constant. In this setup, where carbon rod is used as anode, the selection of ions to be discharged is based on its position in the electrochemical series. Therefore, hydroxide ions are selectively discharged because hydroxide ions are lower than sulfate ions in the electrochemical series. Do you still remember what happened to hydroxide ions at the anode? Can you write the half equation at the anode? What will you observe at the anode? Fill in the table and press enter when you are done. Let's observe what happened at this copper anode. There are no bubbles of colorless gas. Instead, the anode is getting thinner. Here, copper atoms from the anode release their electrons to the external circuit and copper 2 ions are produced. From the table, it can clearly be seen that types of electrodes affect the selection of ions to be discharged. If carbon anode is used, the selection of ions to be discharged depends on their position in the electrochemical series. The lowest ion in the series will be discharged. But when copper metal is used as the anode, the selection of ions does not depend on their position in the electrochemical series. Instead, the electrode dissolves as ions. In this setup, where carbon rod is used as cathode, the selection of ions to be discharged is based on its position in the electrochemical series. Therefore, copper 2 ions are selectively discharged because copper 2 ions are lower than hydrogen ions in the electrochemical series. Do you still remember what happened to copper 2 ions at the cathode? Can you write the half equation at the cathode? What will you observe at the cathode? Fill in the table and press enter when you are done. In this setup, where copper metal is used as an electrode, copper 2 ions are being discharged. The product is similar to the carbon cathode used previously. 
Thus, the selection of ions to be discharged here is also based on its position in the electrochemical series. So, in both cases, where carbon and copper are used, the same factor applies. That is, the position of ions in the electrochemical series will determine the products at these cathodes. The presence of copper 2 ions give blue color to the copper 2 sulfate solution. In the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, where carbon rods are used as electrodes, copper 2 ions in the electrolyte will be selectively discharged at the cathode. Consequently, the concentration of copper 2 ions decreases and the intensity of blue color solution slowly decreases as well. In the electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate, where copper metals are used as electrodes, copper 2 ions will be selectively discharged as well. But the blue color of copper 2 sulfate solution remains unchanged. Why? As one copper ion being discharged at the cathode, another copper ion is released at the anode. Thus, the concentration of copper 2 ions in solution remains constant. In electrolysis, types of electrodes used affect the selection of ion to be discharged. There are two types of electrodes, inert electrode and non-inert electrode. Electrode like carbon is called an inert electrode. This electrode does not interfere with the reaction occurring at the surface of the electrode. Inert electrode act as a point of connection between the electrical circuit and the solution. As a result, the selection of ions to be discharged are based on their position in the electrochemical series. Other than carbon, Platinum also an example of inert electrode. However, platinum is rarely used in school labs because platinum is an expensive metal. If non-inert electrodes are used, the anode will get involved in the reactions. Non-inert electrode like copper will dissolve as ions and release their electrons to the outer circuit. As a result, non-inert electrode will become thinner. At the cathode, for both inert and non-inert electrodes, the same ions are selectively discharged, that is copper 2 ions. And the selection is based on the position of ions in the electrochemical series. In this lesson, you have learned that the types of electrodes used during an electrolysis affect the products formed at the electrodes. When inert electrodes such as carbon and platinum are used, the position of ions in the electrochemical series determines the products formed at the electrodes. When non-inert electrodes like copper, silver or nickel are used, the anodes become thinner because the atoms lose electrons to become the metal ions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon.